everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today, we're going to be discussing a medication known as amitriptyline. Its brand name is Elevil. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find the information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So first off, what will we cover in this presentation? We're going to start by talking about how amitriptyline works. We're going to discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to patients. Then contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe amitriptyline. Then we'll touch on some examples of dosing and make sure you stick around till the end where we'll talk about side effects. So how does amitriptyline work? Well, first of all, amitriptyline is classified as a tricyclic antidepressant or a TCA. It promotes neuronal activity by blocking the membrane pump mechanism responsible for the absorption of serotonin and norepinephrine. Now, when would we see this medication be prescribed? So we often see this medication prescribed in major depressive disorder or MDD. And there's also some off-label indications as well, such as fibromyalgia, treatment of a headache, irritable bowel syndrome, the treatment of pain, as well as the treatment of post-herpetic neuralgia. Now, in terms of contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe amitriptyline to a patient, the first one would be if a patient had a hypersensitivity or allergy to amitriptyline or any other component of the formulation. Second here, we have that it's contraindicated to be used within 14 days of a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. And it also would not be able to be given to patients who are in the acute recovery period following a heart attack. Now for some examples of dosing with amitriptyline. So in major depressive disorder, if an outpatient is using this medication, they may try 75 milligrams orally daily, and this would be divided in one to three doses. The maximum dose would be 150 milligrams per day. For an inpatient, the dose would be increased a little bit here. So 100 milligrams orally daily, divided again in one or three daily doses, and this time the maximum dose would be 300 milligrams per day. The usual maintenance dose would be 50 to 100 milligrams orally at bedtime. For the off-label indication of fibromyalgia, we may see 25 to 50 milligrams given orally once daily at bedtime. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using amitriptyline or Elevil. So I'll go over some of those here now. Some patients may experience weight gain or constipation. Xerostomia or dry mouth is a possibility. Some patients using this medication may experience dizziness or a headache. Some may develop somnolence and some may develop blurred vision. Some more rare but serious side effects would be the development of suicidal thoughts, serotonin syndrome, or a prolonged QT interval. That's all we're going to talk about today with amitriptyline or Elevil. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information to be valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.